accident befell our friend Kevin these many years ago, it was important for his friends to reach out and do what they could. There was no organization in place at that time, so one was needed to be formed. Anybody could join, as long as you were willing to help out in any way you could, whether it be donating your time or donating your money. If you did that, you could easily become a friend undertaking caring for Kevin. Now, when we put out this call, we really didn't know what the response was going to be, but it was overwhelming. We had more fucks than we knew what to do with. Fucks answered from far and wide. Oh, I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. We had big fucks. I'm a fuck. I'm proud to say I'm a fuck. We had little fucks. I am proud to be a fuck. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. We had old fucks. I'm a fuck. Kevin, I'm a fuck. Oh, I am a fuck. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. And young fucks. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. Fucks from various walks of life. We are, we are fucks. fucks. I'm a fuck. Hi, I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. And I gotta say this, I'm probably one of the biggest fucks you know. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. We asked some of these fucks how long they've known Kevin. I can't remember how long I've known Kevin. The first meeting was probably in, a, in an 86 proof induced fog somewhere. I have known Kevin O'Shea since uh, junior year of no, since uh, sophomore year, Don Bosco, he attempted to get me to pass math, which is, in itself is an amazing thing, and, uh, which was around 1974. I, if I could do the math, I could tell you how many years exactly it was. Some have known him for a while. 15 years. 16 years. About 17 years. 18 years. I've known Kevin for about 20 years. Oh, over 20 years? 24 years. 25 years. 25 years. Some have known him even longer. Boy, I've been living in the city now for over 30 years. I've known Kevin uh, about as long as that. For 30 years. 30 years, I think. 32 years. 35 years. 35 years? About 35 years. Oh, I guess 40 years. Uh, about four decades. You know, what was interesting to me was the variety of places that these fucks have met Kevin. Uh, I met Kevin in a bar. In a bar. A little restaurant and bar on the Upper East Side. In a bar. Uh, a place called the Sandbox. <laughs> the first Sandbox that sold whiskey. Out in the Hamptons. I met Kevin initially at the Sandbox out in the Hamptons. Smith and Lenskis. 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 Right here is Smith and Lenskis. Met Kevin surprisingly enough at a place called Smith and Lenskis. Smith and Lenskis. Smith and Lenskis. At Smith and Lenskis. Met him at Smith and Lenskis. Smith and Lenskis. We asked these fucks. Describe Kevin in one word. Exceptional. Just awesome. Yeah. Courage. Legendary. Spectacular. Wise. The greatest. Funny. Friend. Forever. Bold. Catalyst. Treasure. And foul. Incredible. Loyal. Perspicacious. Enigmatic. Inspirational. A gentleman. Complete. Best. Renaissance. Crazy. I would describe Kevin O'Shea as crazy in one word, uh, but a deer kind of crazy. You know, it's a testament to Kevin to be able to get this many fucks in one place at one time. I am a fuck, and Kevin is a double fuck. Spectacular. I'm a fuck. Extraordinary. Awesome. I am a fuck. Inspirational. I am proud to be a fuck. <laughs> Shitbag. I'm a fuck. Generous. I'm a fuck. I was only kidding. You're not shit. You're a wonderful guy. Great. I'm a fuck. Shots. I am a fuck. Intelligent. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. Inspirational. I am a fuck. I am a fuck. Great people to know. I'm a complete and total fuck. I'm a fuck. Amazing. I'm a fuck. I'm a fuck. I never use this word, so I can't possibly say it. I'm a fuck. There's no one word for Kevin. He's had a profound impact on a lot of fucks. Who gives me advice? The way he does, and it usually starts out, listen, sister. 
Yeah, he once choked on a lamb chop when I was feeding him. <laughs> I think uh, any stories that I have that are good about Kevin and I are uh, uh, not long forgotten, but uh, forgotten as far as telling. Kevin, I really, really mean it. It almost brings a tear to my eye when I say it. That of all of the people I've ever met in my life, and I'm being very, very honest here, of all the people I've ever met in my life, I gotta say this, that you, you, are definitely one of them. God bless you, man. If I could use one word to describe Kevin, I wouldn't. I would use four. Always in my corner. In April of 2001, yeah, 2001, um, Easter dinner, I invited Kevin to join my family at Portofino's in Manhattan. That was really a pivotal moment in my life and in his. We had no idea what was to come in the next couple months, but I think that solidified our friendship. Words are not enough to say what Kevin has meant to me and my family. Um, this is from a letter that Kevin wrote to me. In life, which includes many hours at work, people meet a lot of people. The friendlier people make many acquaintances. But time constraints make it difficult to keep many of those relationships going. In my many lives, I've experienced that. I hope that the difficult times that we have been through in the past years have been more than that of an acquaintance of co-workers. When two people go through these sort of tough times where one person has to unquestioningly rely on the other and they get through it, it creates a special bond. These are what memories are made of. Through the last seven years, it seemed on many occasions it was only me and you. I think that brought us close together. Thank God there was a chuckle or two in there to keep us a bit sane. But it is this unconditional friendship that I don't want to lose. March 26, 1993. I've known Kevin for 27 years. And my one word is friend. Happy birthday, Kevin. I want to tell you two things real quick. One is that I've always appreciated the fact that your birthday came about six weeks before mine. So for a short time each year, I could think to myself, wow, Kevin's really old, and I'm not. And the other is that it's one of the great joys of my life that you've been a part of it. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, buddy. It's been a happy birthday. Happy Here's birthday. One. Many, many more. A very happy 65th birthday and... and, and Many, many happy returns of the day. Happy birthday, my friend. From my family to yours, we love you, and we wish you many more, and thanks for all that you've done for us. God bless. Happy birthday, pal, and hope you have many more. My mother said the one testament of who's a really good guy is a man who opens the door to your home with his elbows, and that would be Kevin. Everybody in this room tonight is part of Kevin O'Shea, and that makes us all very fortunate people. God bless all. God bless you, colleagues. Yeah. Cheers. This is live from the Blue Note. Anything could happen. <laughs> when he was younger, losing his hair many years ago, he'd be out at night drinking bottles of wine, rarely walking in a straight line. Now if he stays out to quarter to three, Marilyn has to drive. Marilyn heats him, Marilyn feeds him, now he's 65. Ooh. We're older too. And if you say the world, he'll have a drink. It's math, night time's out all night. Saturday, up and down the holy side. Sunday morning's totally fried. Had ups and downs, seen good times and bad. But the friendships still survive. Marilyn needs him, Marilyn feeds him. Now he's 65. Every summer stay in the Hamptons. So much fun, bartending every day. He would mix and Send us an email, give us a call, giving a 
us advice Telling us precisely where you'd like to meet Third Avenue at 49th Street Telling us stories, telling us jokes The memory's still alive Marilyn feeds you, but all of us need you Now you're 65